All right, what is going on? I am Kale from Migos. We are back here again. Guys, please introduce yourselves. I'm Jake. I'm Tyler. And I'm Jack. And today we're going to be talking about album of the year, best rappers, just a whole lot of music. So let's get right into it. So what was you guys' favorite album of 2017? I, I truthfully liked Revival because I'm a huge Eminem fan. I just, it, it's definitely not his best album, but I really did like it. Love is Rage 2 by Uzi Vert. Great album. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Damn by Kendrick Lamar, you know, and he was on the Billboard's Top 100 consistently throughout mm -hmm. the entire year as soon as it came out. Um, so I, I'd say that Kendrick Lamar is just a great rapper all around. Yeah, I would agree with that, no doubt, but mine has to be 444 by Jay-Z. Just so many, like, his flow and his style is just unmatched. It, it really shows in that album. It's just completely different. And I'd say the worst album of the year, which Jake, Jake, I, Jake has said this before, and solely because there are some, there's a mix of good songs and bad songs on it, and it's just a lot of controversy around it, is Logic's album. Yeah. Just because... Yeah. He has about five good songs on there, and the rest of them, Africarian is one, probably in my opinion, one of the worst songs I've ever heard. It's 12 minutes long, and it just goes on, and it's like, why, like it doesn't need to be this long. Yeah, just songs like that just like bore me. Like any, honestly, any song over like four minutes is just, I get tired of like the beat is just so repetitive, and they keep singing the verse and the hook, and it's just so repetitive after that point. So. I'm not going to say that Logic's album was great, but it wasn't bad either solely because of 1-800. Yeah. That song. That song, top of the charts for who knows how long. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he just used the entire album as a platform to speak about what he wanted America to be like, all the problems that he's having, all the problems America is having, and that's great and all that he has his opinions, but... I mean, keep it out of your music. Make some good music that I can bump to with my friends. But you can say that stuff by yourself, but just don't put it in your music. I I disagree with that. Yeah. Um, partially because I feel like if you're in that kind of platform, you have that kind of influence. That's a great way to put it out there. Um, I do agree that he should there that he shouldn't have made the entire album about it. Yeah. But I think it was a guy to make like one eight hundred. Anxiety was a really good song too. Um, that talked about anxiety um, and I thought it was a good idea to kind of attack those subjects in that way but the fact that he had a 12 he had 12 songs about those subjects it just kind of seemed repetitive and it just kept going that I feel like he could have stopped after three or four you know I completely agree yes yeah I would definitely agree with that but like again what Jack said he has that kind of influence and like uh, I read some stat and suicide uh, the hotline rates were up by like after he put out that song really? by like 40 percent or something like that so it just goes to like show how much of an impact music can really have on people so well uh, another album i thought was amazing was stony i just thought you know there wasn't a song on that album i didn't like uh he had some great people star on his on his music uh, yeah uh, i'd say my my favorite thing about stony and just about post in general is that he doesn't, um, and Tyler disagrees with me on this, uh, he doesn't stay with the same uh, beat and same type of beat throughout the whole thing like the Migos do, which is one of the reasons I personally don't prefer the Migos. Um, I like how he switches it up and he has some chill songs, but he also has some songs that you can bump to, you know. I like the, I like the mixture of it. So talking about Migos, Migos just put out a new album. What do you guys think about that? Um, I think it's great. I, I mean, I like White Sand a lot, then there's Moving Too Fast. I just think it's a great album. I think it has a mixture of songs. I think it's good. Yeah. People would disagree, though. I would go to say that, like, honestly, the whole album sounds like one continuous song for however, like, there's 24 songs on it. And so that's my only, like, problem with it is, like, it's the same style of beat, same type of beat throughout the whole song. My... That that's what I personally just don't like about the Migos in general. Like, the, I'm not gonna 
turn on the Migos album in my car because I, pr I it's personal preference that I just prefer a more chill beat and a more chill style of rap or chill style of music um, like from Stoney. Um, so, you, Kale, you talked about how your favorite album was Jay-Z's and I honestly haven't heard a single song from it and uh, I'm just not the biggest Jeezy fan. What did you, uh, what did you like about it? Just uh, Jay-Z's album is just like, it's not like another album and it's just like there's just so many different components to it. He has so many like great features on it and like each song has its own story and like you don't really get that a lot anymore. You, like all songs in today's culture or a majority of songs in today's culture are just like talking about like drugs or sex or stuff like that. But like Jay-Z's album doesn't do that. Like he, it's like it shows that he's like more mature than that, if that makes sense. I'm, it's a good album, but I just, I want a hook in my songs. And Jay-Z just isn't the type of rapper to give you a hook. I would agree with that. Now, kind of switching up the topic from Jay-Z, you know, we're all, we're all 18. Um, one, uh, I don't know if you'd call him rapper, but more of like a singer, rapper-ish, that is only a year older than us is Khal Khalid, right? Is it Khalid or Khalid? I think it's I Khalid. I think it's Khalid. Khalid. He came out with his album American Teen in 2017. Um, had awesome, great success. Personally, one of my favorite albums of 2017 yeah. because I spoke on this earlier. I prefer the more chill style of music, and most of his songs are all that kind of style. Um, what do you guys think about that album and just kind of him in general? I, I personally just uh, loved the album. What I think about him, uh, a little bit jealous because he's super successful and only a year older than me so like that's a little that's a little like uh oof. he's doing a lot better than i could be doing but yeah his music i love you know young dumb and broke american teen those are my two favorite songs in the entire album just like it's crazy that like music nowadays it's not like your like artists are like 24 25 now it's like artists are starting to come out come up at like 17 18 19. like that's like like the xxl uh, freshman class is literally all teenagers like yeah well soundcloud plays a big part in that because anybody can put their music on there mm -hmm. and if you get like a million people listening to you you can like be put on that list of the xxl freshmen like you said and get worldwide known and it's pretty cool i think it's kind of like uh lil pump he right how old is he He's 17. 17. Yeah. Yeah, he's younger than us. He just us. turned 17 like two months ago. Like he's younger Crazy. than us, and he has all this from SoundCloud. Yeah. Granted, personally, I think he's probably one of the worst rappers to come out of 2017. It's, a lot of it is because like he has that like middle school fan base, and like that middle school fan base is so loyal. No matter like you can't do any wrong because those right. like, kids don't know anything because of it. I absolutely hate it. I think. It, it's just a constant Gucci, you know, you know the song. Gucci Gang, it's, yeah. It's terrible. I mean, that, I, I think that's why I like Eminem so much is because he actually has something to talk about. And, and it's not just repetitive nonsense that is just annoying. Uh, and, like, my, I, I prefer lyrical rap. Yeah. Like, it's like he says Gucci Gang. I think somebody put it out there, like, he says it 53 times in the song crazy. or something like that, some, some crazy number like that. And I prefer the lyrical side of rap kind of like someone like J. Cole, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. J. Cole, he puts a lot of time into his words and not necessarily just into the beat. Yeah, and so J. Cole has that, uh, uh, I can't think of the name, where he's sitting on the rooftop, uh, the album. 2014 Forest yes. Hills Drive. For, uh, Forest Hills Drive. Like, that was such a hit, and then, like, his newest album didn't have much success at all. Like, I just think that's crazy that, like, you can have that solid fan base and then just have it drop. But unfortunately, that's all we have for today, guys. We'll be back here soon and signing off.